Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be looking at Disney Plus. So let's just go up here until we see our App Store. On our App Store, let's go into search that's on the top right hand side corner and type in Disney. So once you guys type in Disney, your second option will be Disney Plus. Just in case, if you guys type in something like Disney Plus, it most likely will not find it. <laughs> so just type in Disney. So our second option again, we're going to click right there. So most of you will see the get instead of this cloud sign. I see the cloud sign because I already downloaded it on my iPhone and iPad. So that's why I get the iCloud sign. So let's just tap right there to download it. Now this download depends on your internet speed. For most of you, it's just going to take a couple seconds. Some of you, this could take one to two minutes, but it's a pretty small app, so it shouldn't take that long. So right now it just downloaded, just click on open. Once we open up, it's going to tell us to try now. So I don't have a separate video showing you guys what the process of trying it now is, or you guys can just go ahead and sign in. So to make this video faster, I'm not going to drag you through the steps of just trying it for now. It's just a week trial. You guys can choose whether it's a year subscription or monthly subscription after that week is done. However, it's going to ask you to verify your payment information if you guys haven't applied any payment information to your iCloud ID. I am however gonna show you at the end of this video how that process is and what you guys can do throughout your iPad for example in order to handle Disney Plus. Right now I'm gonna take you through Disney Plus on your Apple TV but in the last part again it's gonna be through your iPad or iPhone it's gonna be the same deal and that way you guys will get an idea of how to sign up for it. So on your iPhone or iPad, if you guys want to connect it that way, you will get a message once you guys run the app saying device lock in request. So you guys can allow it and just tap in allow. You will see that on your iPhone or iPad if you guys have the app right there. From there, you may see this, that's okay. There, there's still glitches on the app itself, no big deal. So right now we're just gonna click on retry. If retry did not work for you, just close the app, open it up again. Uh, you guys can even put your Apple TV to sleep, bring it up again, and then open this app in order for it to work. So right now, here it is. Here's our Disney app right here on our Apple TV. So anything you guys may be watching on your iPhone, iPad, or Touch will sync here. So you guys can see I've been watching stuff on my iPad and iPhone. So that has been syncing up right here. So Disney did make their app similar to Netflix. And that's really good because a lot of stuff is very similar. A little glitchy here and there, but that's okay. So on the side, so if we scroll through on the side, we should see this. So just go all the way to the side, all right? And you will see right on top of here, whatever your profile is. So let me just go right into it. If I click on it, I will see other profiles that I can pick. So I can switch up into any of these profiles. If I want to add a profile for a kid, for kid friendly, I can always go into the plus sign and do it from there. Now here on the side, it that's the most important part I can teach you. Other than that, if you guys go right into your settings, you guys can look up your account and anything like that, you guys can even log out. So I'm going to go back home and here is Disney. So. As you guys can see, there's a lot of things that you guys can scroll through right here. If you guys want to look up anything like Pixar, for example, we can just go right into it and it's going to give us everything right here. We can scroll to the sites to see more and more. And yes, the app should get better over time. It's not the best right now. It's kind of laggy, but they just started it's the first day, so it's okay. There's other stuff right here, such as Star Wars and so on. So we can go on into each one of these. If you guys get a message that's saying can't connect right now, don't worry about it. Just try it again, try it again, because there are a lot of glitches at this point in time. However, that's it for this tutorial. If I want to watch any of these things, I can just click on them. And again, this works very similar to Netflix. So I can just click on play. If I scroll down, I can see more details about episodes, suggestions and extras and details, for example. So I'm just going to go back again. And there we go. 
Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you. So to open up our Disney app, let's just click on open. Right down here, you're going to see try now. So let's just tap on try now. Going to sign up with our email. Then it's going to ask us to choose a password. And after that, it will ask you if you guys want the year or the monthly. Then you just have to confirm with your touch ID or passcode. After that, you guys will see this screen. It's just going to load up and we can add profiles into your account. So I'm going to teach you how to add profiles since you guys are most likely right there. Anyways, let's just go back. So on my bottom right hand side, I'm going to see profiles. And most of you might see a screen where it says add a profile. So right now I have three profiles already set up. However, to add any other profile, I can just tap up here on that profile. I can choose any icon and type in a name. If I want this to be for my kids and keep it kid friendly, then I can just turn this on. I can turn off or on autoplay. That depends. I always suggest just going to autoplay just so you don't have to click for the next episode. It's just going to automatically play the next episode. And right now I'm just going to put kid for this one. You guys can put any name you like. Right now I'm going to put safe. And there we go. I have four profiles. Once it is safe for kids. So if I go right into it, I'm going to see everything that's kid friendly. If I want to switch any profile, I can just tap down here below on the bottom right hand side. And I can switch up to my own profile. And I'm going to see different content because this is everything, not just kid friendly content. From here, if there's anything specific you want to search, there is the search down here below, which is our second option. So we can type in anything, any movie that you guys like to watch, or we can just go back home and explore each one. So for example, if you click on Disney right now, we're going to see all the movies plus originals from Disney. And if I want to go back, I can just tap on home, for example, it takes me back. I can tap on Pixar and see the content here. It's going to be another ton of content. I can always scroll to see more, more. I can go back home. Same goes for Marvel. Scroll down. I can scroll to the sides to see more and more. Go back home. Star Wars. Same deal. I can scroll down, see what's up. Scroll through. Go back home. And National Geographic. Same deal. I can scroll through. Scroll to the sides to see view, view more, view more, view more, view more. And I can always go back to home. If you guys would like to download anything, so let's just go right into Star Wars. Right now, if I want to download this episode, this entire season, I can. On the right hand side, you will see those arrows. That's to download. So if I can tap on that arrow, it's going to start downloading that chapter. So if I go into downloads down here below, I can see right there. So it's downloading in progress right now. When it's fully downloaded, I can see all my downloads right here. And I can also take off my downloads and delete them at any time. So let me just go back into home. I'm going to stop this download. I can remove the download or just pause it for now. But in this case, I'm just going to remove it. There we go. All right. So that will take up space on your iPhone. I put touch if you download anything. You do not need to download, by the way. You can stream anything without downloading. So if I tap on here, I can go ahead and resume because I already started watching that. I can go here, just press play and go ahead. Anyways, that's it for this quick tutorial. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.